Aquaman is an inventor on top of all the other things he does. In the lush growth on the floor of the sea, Aquaman prepares to test his latest invention. Now watch Aqualad, and you'll see these microscopic sea plankton suddenly grow to ten times normal size. Why? A lot of your undersea friends eat those plankton. At least they did until you made their food too big to eat. He also doesn't realize he's being watched. <laughs> that device can prove very useful to me if it works. Oh, it works all right. That's Aquaman's arch enemy, Black Manta, for those of you who just joined us. Here it goes. It works great, Aquaman. Look at those babies grow. Yes, but I didn't count on their growing that big. Hey, Aquaman, let me explain to you what 10 is. Less than that, but it's worse. Hang on to this, Aqualad. I've got to corral those plankton. There's no reverse button on it. It can only bigger things. It can't smaller them again. Okay, you got him right where you want him. Black Manta decides this is the time to grab the device because everybody knows Aqualad is a wuss. Good boy, Tusky. You didn't accomplish anything, but you get an A for effort. Tusky, Storm. Stand back! With incredible speed and power, Aquaman spins like a propeller, creating a wall of water which pushes the giant plankton toward a formation of rock-like coral. And then what? As far as I can see, they can just walk out again. That ought to hold you. Oh. Nice going. <gasps> I told you he was a wuss. Great waves! Black Manta's men have got Aqualad! Go, Storm, go! I'm not sure Storm can keep up with that. Nevertheless, he'll do his best while Aquaman sends out a call for everybody else in the ocean to keep track of this thing. And when it stops, attack. No, not like that. More like that. Blast that fishman! Out, all of you! Attack Aquaman! Destroy him! Annihilate him! Extinguish him! Liquidate him! Waste him! Exterminate him! Nullify him! Foliate him! Good help really is hard to find, especially when you want to make them look like that. Now to get Aqualad out of there. Responding to the call of their monarch, electrically charged torpedo rays rocket toward the Mantis ship. Electric torpedo rays are a real thing, though people usually call them one or the other. Most commonly, they're called electric rays. They also have the electrical connections in their body, not in their tails, so how they're doing that is authentic. The hole in a metal submarine probably isn't. I'll magnify every plankton in the sea, unless you let me go, Aquaman. Pounding pigfish! He's got us stymied, Aquaman. No, Wim! No! Huh? Uh. Blasting blowfish! Every plankton in the area is growing! <laughs> Quick, call a pot of humpback whales to come eat them. Let's see how tough that baleen really is. A big fight ensues, and since the plankton don't really have much going for them except size, it's pretty one-sided. Like that. Look, Aquaman! Those plankton are shrinking to normal! Must have been the venom in the stingery's tail. Come on, let's put them to work. Black Manta got away in all the confusion, but we knew that was going to happen. Aquaman's invention is in pieces on the rocks. 
As he stood contemplating it, the electric rays gave him a little zap in the behind. It hurt just enough to get their message across. The next time you get a stupid idea like that, call us first.